But, but I do want you to know that tonight I'm gonna to talk about tropical cyclone quadrants. Okay. Quadrants. Quadrants, because okay. it's important. Uh, you know, when you, everyone, all of us meteorologists, we're all really fixated on exactly where a landfalling tropical system will, will make landfall, right? So we want to know exactly where it is because we know that there's different parts of the storm. If you're north, south, east, or west, then you're going to be in a problem area. Some of those areas are, are more significant or more problematic than others. So when we take a look at these landfalling systems like Tropical Storm Barry, which will make landfall right now, it looks like about 7 o'clock on Saturday morning, central Louisiana coastal area, uh, you want to know exactly where you don't want to be. So as we look at the front right quadrant of this system, that's the most dangerous part of a landfalling tropical storm or a landfalling hurricane because it has the strongest winds. It has a, the, the, the most destructive storm surge and then it also has the most significant flooding. So it's problems all around the fright. The, the front left that's problematic also where significant storm surge. There's flooding rain and there's devastating wind damage. Then you take a look at the back right. The back right, that's not good. That's where most of the tornadoes take place. When a landfalling tropical system hits land, it just kind of like a water balloon. It just shoots tornadoes out, or at least it has the ability to uh, spawn multiple tornadoes. And once again, that's the back right. Also the flooding rain and then the damaging wind. Now here's the best place to be. It's the back left part of a landfalling system. But if you think about it, to be in the back left, you would have then had to have started in the front of this system. So it's a no win situation. If you're anywhere within a landfalling system right now, you're still it's the weakest quadrant, but you're still bringing a major impacts, the flooding, the wind, the negative storm surge. So there's no good areas to be. If anything, you want to be a couple of hundred miles on the west side of it, and that's where we're going to be here in North Texas. That's where the air is sinking. That's where we should have lots of sunshine and just warm temps as we head through the end of the weekend and next week. Right now, Barry is not that organized at this point. There it is. It's south of the mouth of the Mississippi River, about uh, 85 miles, about 155 south of New Orleans. The system right now, hurricane warnings, tropical storm warnings, tropical storm watches all along the central Gulf Coast. We're looking at winds of 60, 70, 50, 40 miles an hour, very strong winds and a storm surge right now. Storm surge watches and warnings are in effect and there's the storm surge anywhere from three to six feet. New Orleans could see a two to four foot storm surge. Once again, landfall 7 a.m. on Saturday. It then moves, it moves right through Monroe up toward Little Rock. It then moves toward Poplar Bluff, Paducah, Kentucky. It stays well to the east of us here in North Texas and it dumps anywhere from one to four, six to 10, 10 to 20 inches of rain depending on where you are. Coastal Louisiana from Jackson to Baton Rouge down to Homa, New Orleans, pick it up anywhere from 10, maybe up to 20 inches.